Hi everyone, welcome to today's session on uh, IBPS Clerk Prelims Mock Test 9 Paper Explanation. So first uh, we will discuss reasoning section questions. So the first five questions are based on a series, alphanumeric series is there. So see here how many such numbers are there in the above arrangement, each of which is immediately preceded by a vowel, numbers preceded by vowel and not immediately followed by symbol. So numbers preceded by vowel, not preceded by symbol. So A5D, then uh, numbers preceded by vowel and not followed by symbol. I can take this one. Is there any other thing? I don't find. So only two. Only two are there. This one and this one. So answer is uh, only two. Next, which of the following is exactly in the middle of the 13th, middle of the 13th element from the right end and 13th element from the left end. So here, if you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, which is in the middle? If you see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 3 is in the middle. So, answer is 3. Next. Third question. How many symbols are there in the above arrangement, each of which is immediately followed by a consonant? and immediately preceded by a number. So symbols preceded by number followed by followed by a consonant. So symbols for preceded by number. Symbols preceded by number. Symbols preceded by number followed by consonant. So only one is there. Only one is there. Six slash six hash V. So only one. Next. Next is question number four. What should come in place of the question mark in the following series in the on the above arrangement? A percentage five. A percentage five. A percentage 5, then star 6 F, next after that 9 E dollar, 9 E dollar. So what has to come, so 2 uh, have to be left, so 1 1, this one, 1, M, 1, M division. So, 1, M division is the answer. Option C. Next question number 5. How many such consonants are there in the above arrangement, each of which is immediately followed by a consonant and immediately preceded by a symbol? So, consonants preceded by symbol followed by immediately followed by a consonant and preceded by a symbol. So, consonants preceded by symbol followed by consonants. So, you can see consonants preceded by symbol followed by consonant. This is one. Consonants preceded by symbol, followed by consonants, only one. 
only one is there this one next now you have a puzzle l m p q u l m p q u b are six friends living on different floors so it's a floor puzzle and uh, it is given that the ground floor is numbered as one so it is like uh, total you have six floors one two three four five and six so l m p q u and b now we have to arrange them and it is all of them have doors of different color so person color person color and floor have to be matched now l and q live on even numbered floor and the color of their doors is green and red respectively so l and q l and q l and q l and q right this is what is given next so it can be greener red it can be greener red it can be greener red greener red greener red greener red this is what is given now next uh, three persons live on the floor three persons live on the floor between q and b between q and b there are three persons between q and b there are three persons so definitely q cannot be here between q and b there are three persons so q cannot be here in the fourth floor q is not here okay q is not here uh, between q and b there are three persons if q is here then one two three b has to be here let me take let me take q here let me take q here so there are three persons one two three thereby b has to be in second floor so a has to be here because l and q are in the even numbered floors so b is here now next the one who lives on the first floor has brown color this is brown the floor on which b lives is below the floor on which q lives b is below q only satisfied now what next the door of fifth floor is blue color the color of u used door is orange p does not live immediately below q p does not live immediately below q so it is not p so it has it can be p or it can be p okay now see this is blue and the one the door of fifth the color of used door is orange so now door and person both are free both are free for this person both are free for this person so this is u this is orange okay now what you can say finally uh, there is l and q l and q green and red cannot be this one this cannot be green or red and what you can say uh, what you can say here see L and Q live on the even number floor and the color of their doors is green and red respectively. So the colors are given already for Q and L respectively is given. So Q is red and L is green. Okay. Now who is the remaining person here? M. So Q, M, L, U, B, P. Now what is the remaining color? Remaining color is black. So this is the final arrangement. Now, who among the following lives in floor fourth floor? Fourth floor it is L. So answer is L. Option C. Then seventh one. 
which of the following combinations is uh, correct so already we have done u third orange u third orange is correct next eighth one which of the which color doors are between blue and black between blue and black you have green orange you have green and orange option e then ninth one on which of the following floor does m live m lives in fifth floor m lives here in fifth floor you can see here m lives in fifth floor blue door fifth floor option d next tenth one which of the following statement is true with respect to p p lives in the first p lives on the first floor it is correct that's it p because p lives on even number floor is wrong because p lives in first floor means odd number floor then second one is not correct all are true cannot be the option you can skip it over 10th one option a then 11th 11 to 15 we have one more puzzle 12 persons are sitting uh, along the two rows facing each other there are 12 persons two rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 it is given that b u r p d s are facing south b u r p d s facing south a t e f q c are facing north are facing north this is what is given now t is one of the t is on the immediate right of f t is on the immediate right of f who is facing b t is on the immediate right of f t is on the immediate right of f f is facing b f is facing b this is what is given next only c is seated between a and q only c is seated between a and q only c is seated between a and q means uh, uh, it can be like this c is seated between a and q c is seated between a and q it is like this and he is not facing u so c is not facing u c is not facing u it is clear now next a and e are the extreme ends a and e are the extreme ends a and e are the extreme ends between a and q c is there and uh, f and t this is over f and t t is the right of f now opposite to f b is there here u is not there now p is on the immediate right of b p is on the immediate right of b means p has to be here s and r at the extreme ends s and r are at the extreme ends and nobody is seated on the right of s on the right of yes so our thing is correct here s here r now u is not here means u has to be here and the only person that is left is d here d is left so this is the final arrangement so who is facing r e e is facing r e is facing r so answer is none of this now next question next question question number 12 which of the following pair is uh, at one of the extreme ends sq or sq the extreme end no sr and ae sr and ae so er are the extreme ends next 13th one who is facing C? C is facing D. C is facing D. So answer is option E. Option E. 
then 14th one if b is related to e d is related to f then which of the following is p related to b e d f what is the relation please see here b e d f b is related to e d is related to f similarly what is asked here p is related to what p is related to t so answer is t here answer is t next 15th question who is sitting third to the right of the person sitting opposite to e third to the right of the person sitting opposite to e please see here who is opposite to e here r third right first second second third p so answer is p here answer is p here option c next question number 16 to 20 is also a puzzle it's based on circular arrangement so there are eight students so eight person circular puzzle is like this eight person circular puzzle circular arrangement so three students are facing towards center and the rest are facing opposite to center so three are facing center means five are facing outwards they are they are all like different colors different colors are given who who six who who six third left of m who is third left of m i am taking m here m faces opposite to center it is given so when m is facing opposite to center who would be here because who is third left first left second left and third left who who six third to left of m faces opposite to center and is not neighbor of s and is not neighbor of s so here who is not the neighbor of s who is not the neighbor of s here s is not there here also s is not there p6 immediate right of m p6 immediate right of m means p has to be here p6 immediate right of m who six third third left of q third left of q means uh, p is here means third left of q third who six third left of q uh, what is given p6 immediate right of m who six third left of q so m is third left of q means uh, uh, Q has to be here. Q has to be here. Q has to be here. If Q is facing outwards, if Q is facing outwards, M is third left of Q is satisfied. Is satisfied. Yes or no? And similarly, uh, because here already O is there. Here you, you can't place Q and say that Q is facing towards center. First, second, third, left is O, uh, M you cannot say because it already o, M, uh, o and M positions are initially fixed. So Q has to be here. Now, the one who likes red color is an immediate neighbor of uh, O. So it can be red or it can be red. M faces opposite to center is already given and n6 the one uh, the one who six likes red color is an immediate neighbor of o okay n6 second right of t n6 second right of t so how it is possible n6 second right of t so if it is t it is n is it possible because here totally three students are facing towards center now next n6 second right of t who is immediate neighbor of p t is the immediate neighbor of p yes or no t 
T is the immediate neighbor of P is already given. N6 second to the right of T. N6 second to the right of T means T is facing outwards. So definitely now you can say here you have N. N6 second to the right of T. Now who is immediate neighbor of P? Who likes black color? N likes black color. So you cannot, you can say this is not red. This is going to be red. Now, M face is opposite to center. Now, next is SC, S6 immediate right of R. S6 immediate right of R means, so now the only positions are these two. S6 immediate right of R. Who likes pink color? Who likes? R likes pink color. R likes pink color means R has to be here. R has to be R. What is given? S six immediate right of R. S six immediate right of R. And something is said about the red color here. Is there anything given about the thing? Please see. N six second to the right of T. Who is immediate neighbor of P? Okay. T is the immediate neighbor of P. He, uh, who likes black color? Who is liking black color? P. P likes black color. P likes black color. Sorry. P likes black color. It is not black. It can be red also. It can be red or it can be red. Okay. So, understand. Who likes black, black color means P likes black color. Now, M faces opposite to center. S6 to the immediate right of R. S6 to immediate right of R. Who likes pink color? So here uh, R likes pink color. R likes pink color. The one who sits opposite to P. Opposite to P. The one who sits opposite to P likes green color. So you can say O likes green color. Next, the one who seeks third to left of R, the one who seeks third to left of R, like blue color, like blue color. Third to left of R likes blue color. So you can say the one who seeks opposite to N likes gray color. So it is gray. T does not like violet. T does not like violet. Now what you can say from here, where is red now? This is going to be red. N red. N red. And if you see, now what you can say, S6 immediate right of R. S6 immediate right of R means, already see, he is facing outside. And S6 immediate right of R. S6 immediate right of R means, it is like this. S6 immediate right of R. S6 immediate right of R. So R is facing outward. So now 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay, these are facing outward. So N and S and P are facing inward. Now what is given? The one who, uh, who seeks Third to left of R. Third to left of R means first left, second left, third left. It is blue color. Okay? And it is pink. And the remaining colors are violet, uh, violet and white. It is not violet means it is violet. And the only remaining color left over is uh, white. So T is white. T is white. This is the final arrangement. Who among the following likes violet color? Yes. Then question number 17. Who seeks immediate right of the one who likes white color? It is Q. Answer is Q. Next. How many students sit between M and the one who likes pink color? Counting clockwise from M. So answer is 5. Next, what is the position of N with respect to P? The position of N with respect to P 
n with respect to p n with respect to p is third left third to the left so option a which color does p like p likes black p likes black now questions based on inequalities we have here so a less than b a less than b greater than so the relation between n and f n and f how you can bring out so here n and f so n less than f it is f less than n given so it is wrong p greater than m so p greater than f p greater than f f less than f greater than or equal to f greater than or equal to m so p greater than m is correct so second one is correct second one is correct what about third one m less than n m less than n m less than n is correct m less than n is also correct okay next a is equal to p a is equal to p because a is equal to p is wrong because a less than greater than two inequalities are there then you have n to f f to p so you have different inequalities so you can say only two and three are correct so option one option one next 22 between c and e so e greater than or equal to so you can say e greater than c e greater than c means c less than e is correct what about second one wo less than or equal to q wo less than or equal to between wo and q you have different inequalities so second one is wrong g greater than w g greater than w if you see here g to w less than greater than two symbols are there so it is wrong c and g c and g g greater than c so g greater than c means c less than g has to be there so only one follows only one follows is correct next one t and h t greater than s s greater than h so t greater than h is correct first one correct r greater than d so d s h so if you see here r greater than t r greater than or equal to t greater than s yes yes greater than d so you can say r greater than d r greater than d is correct second one is also correct third one yes less than r yes less than r is also correct because r greater than s r greater than s means s less than r is correct h less than d so here between h and d less than greater than two inequalities are there so this is wrong so answer is one two three follows next one v greater than n v greater than n so if you see here v greater than v is equal to x x greater than y y greater equal to n so you can say v greater than n is correct v greater than n is correct first one then second one z less than or equal to u z less than or equal to u is it correct z less than or equal to u is false because see here here greater than or equal to greater than greater equal to so you you can say you u greater than z so z less than u so this is wrong 24th one second one is wrong what about third one u greater than x u greater than x is correct is correct z greater than y z greater z less than equal to z less than equal to x x greater than y 
so j greater j na is asked for j sorry j greater than y j greater than y jo j greater than v j greater than v v is equal to x x greater than y so j greater than y is correct this is correct so 1 3 and 4 1 3 and 4 means option d option d option d is correct now 25 r is greater than k so from r to k r is uh, a is less than r means r is greater than a k is uh, greater equal to means a less than or equal to k so between r and k the relationship can't be established i greater than l i greater than l means i greater than k greater than a <coughs> so i between i and l i greater than k okay and k greater equal to a now second one is it correct 25 because you have c greater lesser families so second one is also wrong second one is also wrong now see a greater than wo a greater than wo a greater than wo is it correct a greater than wo a greater than wo i think you have two inequalities a and wo a and wo less than greater than so cannot be established wo greater equal to a wo greater same again wrong so uh, what you can say here the answer is actually none of these i believe i will go for none of these because i k a so i k a a wo directly see a less than r greater than wo but from a to wo from a to wo you have less than greater than less than greater than so i will go with neither neither not it is a, it is not either it is actually neither neither none follows none follows here none follows here next 26 rohan walked 40 meters towards north towards north then he took a left turn and walked 20 meters then he took a right turn and walked 30 meters again he took a right turn and walked 20 meters how far is he from the starting point this is 40 this is 30 so this total is 70 so answer is 70 answer is 70 next in certain code language graph is 3 4 5 6 7 brain is 8 4 5 92 then what is pain so here p is 6 p is 6 a is 5 a is 5 And I is nine, N is two, six five nine two. So option A. Twenty eight to thirty. Silox based questions. So all groups are room. All groups are room. All room are water. Some water is sun. no sun is moon no sun is moon between these two there is no relation now some moon or not sun some moon or not sun so some moon or not sun when no sun is moon some moons are not sun is definitely true is definitely true yes or no no sun is moon no sun is moon means some moons are not sun it is true now what is asked here 
what is asked here please see uh, read the following conclusions and then decide which of the given conclusions definitely logically does not follow it follows okay all water being rooms all water being rooms is a possibility it is also correct some rooms are root it is also correct some water is root some water is root it is also correct no root is water no root is water no root is water is definitely does not follow so this does not follow this does not follow we have to answer which do not follow not which follows now some homes are roads some homes are roads some towns are home some towns are home some clubs are drums some roads are not drums some roads are not drums some clubs are drums some homes are drums some homes are drums some homes are drums means i can take like this some homes are drums some homes are drums and uh, some roads are not drums some roads are here all roads are drums na sorry i am again changing the entire structure see what is given what is given here um some homes are drums some homes are drums some homes are drums okay now some roads are not drums some roads are some roads are where is that okay here i have taken actually conclusions that is the reason some homes some homes are roads I'm correct earlierly but i have taken conclusions see some homes are roads some homes are roads next all roads are town all roads are town some towns are club some towns are club next all towns are drum all towns are drum now see the first one 29 first one 29 first one some some towns are drums it is true some towns are home it is also true some clubs are drums some clubs are drums it is also true some roads are not drums some roads are not drums here all roads are drums some roads are not drums is wrong is wrong so it is the answer some homes are drums it is also correct so which does not follow means option d next all days are news all days are news all news are paper no paper is game no paper is game all days are fan all days are fan so all days are fan means i can take like this i can take like this see all days are fan now the first conclusion all news are game all news are game all news are game is wrong so this does not follow remaining you need not check next 31 to 35 we have one more puzzle see uh, there are six persons a c d x w and b who live in a building they belong to different cities uh, given okay they like different colors so person city color has to be matched now see here what is given c belongs to goa c belongs to goa
but does not like pink or white. W does not belong to Kanpur. W does not belong to Kanpur. W does not belong to Kanpur. But likes grey color. A belongs to Patna. The one who belongs to Pune likes pink color. Pune likes pink color. D likes blue. D likes blue. X does not like pink color. So it is not X. It is not X. D uh, X does not like pink color. X does not like pink color. D does not belong to Kanpur. D does not belong to Kanpur and Chennai. D does not belong to Kanpur. D does not belong to Kanpur or Chennai. Okay, the one who likes black color is either A or V. The one who likes black color is either A or V. Either A or V. Either A or V. Totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The person left is V and A is already here we have. Okay. Now please see. The one who likes black color is either A or V. A or B. It can be black or it can be black. Okay. Next. Next. The one who likes white color belongs to Kanpur. Belongs to Kanpur. White belongs to Kanpur. So, white belongs to Kanpur means, what, what you can say here, please see, C, W, A, D, the remaining are now, the remaining are now X and V, X and V. So, X is not Pune. So, definitely V has to be Pune. V has to be Pune. V, Pune, Pink. The remaining is X. Remaining is X. Now, V is not black. V is not black. So, definitely it is uh, A has to be black. A has to be black. Now, you have, you have uh, what is given? The one who likes white color belongs to Kanpur. White color belongs to Kanpur. Now, Goa, Patna, Pune are fixed. It is uh, not Kanpur, not Chennai. So, D is not Kanpur, not Chennai, means the remaining is Delhi. D is not Kanpur, not Chennai, means the remaining is the Delhi. So, D Delhi. And color is blue. Color is blue. Now, the remaining are, Kan the remaining are now Kanpur and Chennai. So, W is not Kanpur, means X is Kanpur. And uh, you can say the remaining is Chennai. W is Chennai. Okay. Now, blue, pink, black, grey are fixed. It is uh, Goa is not pink or white. The Goa is not pink or white means the remaining color is green. The remaining color is green. Now, what is the remaining color? Remaining color, blue is fixed. The remaining color is uh, what one? White now? So X is white. X is white. So X is white. Now who among the following like green color? Green C. Green C. Option D is correct. Next. Who among the following belongs to Chennai? Just now we have completed. Chennai is W. Chennai is W. Then 33. Who among the following likes white color? White color just now we have done X. If D and A places are interchanged, then from which city D belongs to? D and D is actually Delhi, A is actually Patna. 
So when the D and A are interchanged, D goes to A's place, A belongs to Patna. So answer is Patna. 34. Answer is A. Who among the following belongs to Pune? Pune is V. Pune is V. So these are the 35 questions in your reasoning. Uh, today's mock test. So I hope everybody have followed.